Hi, my name is Alexandra Silber, and meet me at the Muni. Meet me at the Muni, the Muni in Forest Park. Hi, Mike Isaacson, executive producer, artistic director of the Muni, and I am here at the PNC Arts Alive gazebo with the incredible, fabulous Alexandra Silber, who is starring as Eliza in our opening production of My Fair Lady. I am so excited you're here. Obviously, we've been having a good time talking prior to filming. So I want to hear your story of how you ended up in a life in professional theater, because you have a very interesting story. Well, yeah, thank you. Um, I, I think I always knew I wanted to be an actor. Since my first turn on the boards as an eight-year-old Miss Hannigan. <laughs> Interesting subtext, the little girls. <laughs> That's right. Um, which was just basically like a carbon copy performance of Carol Burnett. Yeah. But what a person to copy. That's what you do. Yeah. Um, but I always knew I wanted to be an actor. And I actually ended up going to um, Interlochen Center for the Arts for both summer camp and eventually Interlochen Arts Academy for high school. Um, and from there, I uh, actually went overseas to the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland in Glasgow. Plucked. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and, and got my degree in, in classical acting wow. over there. Um, I've always sung. I've always done musicals. I did musicals at Interlochen. Um, and, but, at, but in college, I didn't train as a singer. And so there was a bit of a surprise in my final year at Royal Conservatoire of Scotland. Um, they brought up a casting director to teach the straight theater actors how to do a musical theater audition, should that never occur. <laughs> and um, it was very, you know, it was very much like, this is a plastic folder. And you put zero, you know, it was very basic. And I don't know, I knew, I, um, I had played Amali Abolish in high school. Okay. And Will He Like Me was my, is still my favorite song. And I thought, I had a little instinct. I went, if you take this seriously, this day, your life is going to change. Mm. And so I sang for this man, and um, who I will never forget and always be grateful to. And he basically called um, the, uh, David Grindrod, a casting director in London, who was casting Andrew Lloyd Webber's The Woman in White. I was 21 years old, and eight weeks later, I was playing Laura Fairley in The West End. Well, yep. <laughs> and was, I mean, I was a little clueless. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure what the West End was. And I was I just, I remember being like, the budget for this show is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I just, it was, but the biggest and most meaningful um, part of that was that I played opposite Anthony Andrews. Who, for our viewers, is our Higgins. That's right. Henry Higgins in My Fair Lady. Um, and Alex is actually being, Al, Al for short, is being shy that um, when we were casting and we had our Eliza and we were still searching for Higgins and Anthony came up, you ran into him on the street or was it a text? I, no, I, I, I thought, Anthony and, and I had always talked about doing this together, wow. really, really, really yearning to and never knowing if the timing or the location would ever work out. And obviously, this is a dream role for any actress. Um, but I thought, this is it. This is the moment. So I texted him and I said, Do you want to come to America? <laughs> <That's fantastic. laughs> and um, so it's, it's wonderful. And I think, as you had said earlier, the Muni is so much about what we create together. And we do everything so quickly that those relationships really matter. And this is, in fact, that woman in white experience was exactly 10 years ago this week. Wow. Well, it's been fascinating for me the times I've popped into rehearsal, clearly on and off stage, to see you two tending to each other and caring for each other. And it's adding a whole, um, something very special to, to the production. It's really, it's really moving to me. And it's also fascinating because Higgins and Eliza, I mean, their relationship is the show. Right. It is literally why Shaw wrote the original play and it exists. And I'm just fascinated about how you see her for, the, for your portrayal and also sort of in relationship to Anthony and, and what sure. that is. Um, you know, I think that there's, um, on the surface, the story of Shaw's Pygmalion or of Lerner and Lowe's My Fair Lady is often, in my opinion, misunderstood as 
a transformation story. I sort of view it more as the opportunity for a woman to become a self she already was, just didn't have the opportunity or the skills or the knowledge to explore. And I think one of the reasons why there's a deep love and gratitude to and for Higgins is because he gives that to her. But I think that that self that she discovers was always there and it just gets exposed and nurtured and sent out into the world. Um, you have, now don't get all bashful on me, but you have a remarkable voice. Thank you. Grammy nominee winner? Nominee. Nominee <laughs> for your recording of West Side Story with the San Francisco Symphony. Get it? It's amazing. Thank you. Um, and Ben told me the other day that most Eliza stop at a C, but you're going up. We have taken I Could Have Danced All Night up a whole step. Well, now, now, for our viewers at home, that's literally like, we're going to add 10 stories to Mount Olympus. And you're going to climb up. That is astounding. It, I don't think, we've done our, our homework. I don't think it's ever been done before. That's what Ben said. That is remarkable. And it is thrilling. And thank so thank you. you. Thank you thank for you. giving me the opportunity to do it. It's uh, I'm, Ben Whiteley, our musical director, um, said, don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a gift because everybody's voice, like everybody's bodies, um, are naturally built and formed certain ways. And obviously you can change and manipulate them within a certain structure, just like with exercise or diet or anything. But um, you know, for the most part, a voice sits and lives in a certain place, and my voice just happens to sit a, a, just a little higher than this role. Um, so it's actually a, um, easier for me. But it's one of those moments where we really then do get a vocal transformation. We hear a real shift, and suddenly it's like you're at the opera. Yeah. Yeah.